Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, and I'm back again with another video. But as you can see today, I'm not in my room, not in my garden, but this park that I'm standing on is where I used to strike. I mean, this is where I used to score all the quality goals that was never recorded on camera. How I wish I was a YouTuber those days to show you my skills, how I used to score goals for this whole village. I mean, if you don't believe that I was the best striker from this village, go ask my childhood friends and in case you don't find them that's none of my business i'm here practicing how to fly a drone because i'm not a good pilot i don't want to keep on crashing my drone but i wanted to show you how beautiful my village is from above you like seeing my village right it's beautiful right you know this is where i grew up I'm so sorry that I couldn't wish you all a happy new month yesterday. You know what? I was so upset because I'm just tired of seeing us talking, complaining all the time. Like I said, Africa needs a second independence. And if Africa will get a second independence, it will depend on you and I. Some of you are saying that, what am I? You're also talking without actions. No, I'm not talking without an actions. Like I said, wait for it. I got a huge package coming out. I just don't talk. I act in the room. And when it comes out, you see that, damn, this boy is so serious. I'm getting so many messages from South Africa. This is a video that is actually trending somewhere in South Africa and people want me to talk about it. And it's Chinese in Africa once again. I love South Africa so much, even though some of you think that um, I hate South Africa. I've seen some, some of the South Africans insulting me when I went to Johannesburg because I did a video saying, you know, I don't want to say this, but I feel like South Africa is the most divided African country that we've ever been to. Mm -hmm. True or false? That could be true. I got so many backlash. Some people were even going a stream of sending me dead threats. Some were even sending messages to my sister, telling my sister that if you don't talk to your brother, we're going to kill him and all that. I mean, it's so stupid and for some of you to go that extreme. But hey, like I said, I don't hate any country. But when I see something and I talk about and you don't agree with me, feel free to leave a comment. I'm here to voice out my opinion. And you're also cool to voice your opinion. Trust me, if you hate me, I grow. So you know what? Keep on hating and I'll keep on growing. Let me tell you something. This grass is green. So if you're a content creator and you see this grass and you tell people that this grass is green, then you still get people who will come and tell you that this grass is not green, this grass is blue. People are always gonna hate, but don't let hate stop you from doing what you enjoy doing. I'm gonna talk about Chinese in Africa, but most importantly, a viral video that is going on in South Africa. But before I go to this store, let me take you to Zambia, Lusaka. What is really happening? I know most of you don't understand Chinese, so definitely you won't understand this. What do you say, guys? Huh? Tell me again, what do you say? Huh? I'll give you the last two chance. 刚才就是他们这两个从我们身边过去说说我说我们中国人是病毒啊给我拿出去叫听到没有给啊这边在干过不是说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你说你
you are not being anti-china we're just being honest you know when you travel you have to obey the rules and regulations of that particular country but i don't blame them i blame the people who have been giving them the opportunity to take advantage of their own people i want to take you guys to south africa a video that a south african sent to me and i want to share this video with you Indeed. Special for this COVID-19 for the community, it's a food parcel. It's free. It's, supposed it's to be free. free. It's coming from the government. So it's a theft to have this thing when you're here. So you're supposed to do, go to the Jumbo to ask him. No, no. No, but you are selling this. Yeah, you must deal with Jumbo. We have no idea to be accountable for it. Uh, 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 the not for free for you, okay? We buy it for all the company there. So what do we must Which do? Jumbo, my friend, my man, listen, listen. If we find something that has been stolen in your hands, we're supposed to open a case against you. It's you who are going to explain on the court that you are not the one mm -hmm. who was stealing this thing. Do, do it. You say, I'm not scared. Okay, I'm not, 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 Food that are free. Sorry, last time I I remember you. Last time you same kind of make noise for me. Okay. Make noise for what? Make noise for what? No, don't come with that nonsense. Yeah. Where do you get this thing? You know why we need a second independence? Because a Chinese man can never go to the factory and tell them that give me that free food I want to sell. This is why I'm telling you that don't hate the Chinese man who is doing his business. But our own people are to be blamed. I mean, I don't want to say anything right now for people to come and insult me again and tell me that I'm not South African, so I'm not supposed to talk about South African matter. But I have this beautiful sister, Tenji Wei. I mean, one of the finest comedians in South Africa. Let's go and listen to what Tenji Wei has to say. Hi, Wadamaya. My name is Tenji, a content creator from South Africa. This is actually very embarrassing. It is very embarrassing because it is so obvious that this guy got all these things from the people who are supposed to be giving them to the needy. This is the government's initiative to give food parcels to those who are needy during this lockdown. We all know that some people were already struggling to put food on the table even before the lockdown. So things have become worse with people not being able to trade, people not being able to work. And there have been so many other stories similar to this one with councillors that are supposed to be giving food to their communities, keeping the food for themselves, giving the food to their friends or selling the food. And I think this should not just end up as headlines. These people need to answer. The police need to do proper investigations and these people need to go and face their music for their crimes because these are criminal activities. How do you, as a black person who's supposed to be looking after your community, have the nerve to take the same food that's supposed to be going to the needy in your own community and sell it to a foreigner to then come back and sell it to your people for a profit? How do you sleep at night? Just look at how many people are queuing up for the food and you have the nerve to take the same food stealing from your own people and give it to someone who's going to sell it back to them. What a shame. Hey. This is just embarrassing. We need to change our attitude. We need to change our attitude. Otherwise, we are never going to get our freedom. Otherwise, not yet Uhuru. Charity begins at home. If you can't even give free food parcels to your own people, and you would rather give it to a foreigner to come back and sell to your poor people, 
This is just embarrassing. The world is laughing at us. And this has to stop. And I really think that the police should look for the people who sold this stuff to this shopkeeper. And this shopkeeper, as much as he is wrong, but I blame our people because they sold it to him. Especially at a time like this when we should be showing brotherly and sisterly love, neighborly love for people who are in power. Because these are the people who are in power who gave it to this guy. We, we can try and put it any other way, but it's our own black people who are sell out. It's our own black South Africans who took the food parcels and gave it to this guy. Some of the parcels that have been given to our people are absolutely embarrassing. Like they give you half a milli meal. Like who opened it? Why are they opening it? Why are they touching it with their hands? Like we're going through a pandemic and you're touching people's food just because you wanna keep half for yourself. Guys, South Africans, this right here needs to stop. How sad. Let me know what you think. Share the video. Let other people see. And please, let's hit 400k subscribers. Just do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Even if you don't like me, I know you don't like me. It's okay. Just hit the subscribers. Be part of the channel. Come back again and hate me. Maybe when you keep on hating, you, you might fall in love with me. I am Maya.